Hey guys, it's me again. Um, Florida was great. It was amazing. I'm really sorry I couldn't make a video last week. And I just want to say thank you so much for filling in Jacket like the last second. Well, it wasn't really the last second. Well, I asked you Monday. But anyways, thank you so much. You did a great job. And I'm really happy that you did. You did a great job. So, yeah. I'm being redundant right now. Um, why was I Gabriella? I didn't like being Gabriella. I don't like High School Musical that much. Sorry. But, um, it is true. Okay, I'm just going to start with questions. Um, Jack, do I have a special song for somebody? Um, I don't have a special somebody. I think we've gone through this, like, tons of times. Um, but if I had a special somebody, I would probably play them this song. And I will insert it here. Hopefully this doesn't get, like, blocked or copy copyrighted. Mm. I'll put, like, the credits right here. Hopefully it gets it. And I think if this person's watching the video, they're going to know who it's to. Because I've sent them that song before. Henrik. That was a really good video. I just want to say that right now. That was amazing. Um, I even favorited it. You can go on my channel and look. It's favorited. That was amazing. Why was I the first one to die? Just because I'm the youngest. You know what? Pick on me because I'm the youngest. Fine. That's okay. Oh, and by the way, that serpent's mouth was really creepy and icky and slimy. I didn't like it, but... It was all good because I ended up in Disney World anyway. So, speaking of Disney World, I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I got many hats, as you can see. I think this is like my 48th. I've got 48 now. Okay, I got this one from the Hard Rock Cafe in Tampa, which actually I didn't go to. My grandma got it for me when she went with my uncle or something like that. Okay. Um, I got this one in the Virgin Megastore in downtown Disney. And it's kind of like a trucker hat, but I like it. Even though it says Virgin, which is true, obviously. Yeah. This one's I got from Planet Hollywood, also downtown Disney. Let's see, PH over there. I just think it was really cool, so I got it. And I got this hat from the American Idol Experience. I don't know if you can see it. It's really dark. Um, no, you can't really see it that much. You can kind of see it now. Okay. I'll tell you about that a little bit. Um, American Idol experience. I tried out. Um, I was one of 60 to like make it through to the producer. So I was really happy about that. And then I got turned down because only 20 minutes by. And I sang a song I wasn't prepared to sing. Like you had to pick two. And he made me sing the second one, which I wasn't prepared to do at all. It was Kelly Clarkson Breakaway. I don't like that song. I don't know why I picked it. Um, and I screwed up the words because I hate... I hate singing Kelly Clarkson, like listening to it, but I don't like singing it. So that's what it went. So I got cut, but I got a number and everything. It was really cool, and I had so much fun at Disney. And yeah, Rob, what would I name my first child? I'm doing questions from last week too, the ones I missed. Uh, there's so many things I can name my first child. Oh, and I did not expect you to eat that piece of paper. When you're putting that in your mouth, I'm like, he's really eating it. I don't know. I've always liked the name Casey. Like, for my, for a son, like a guy's name, Casey, like K-A-S-E-Y. I've always liked that. Probably like Casey Matthew, but that's not really Italian. But if I had to choose on the more Italian side, I might pick something like Vincenzo. Short for Vinny. I know, it's kind of a bad name to have, but I like, I like, I've, I like the name Vincenzo. I think that's really cool. Maybe Vincenzo Mario. I don't know. Both ends in O, though. Or Jamie. I kind of like the name Jamie. Okay, what's my middle name? My middle name is Salvatore, also very Italian, and there is a story behind it. Um, see, my grandfather was also named Salvatore. His name was Salvatore, my last name. <laughs> so, um, and then I was the firstborn grandson, and the Italian tradition is apparently that every your firstborn grandson has to be named after the grandfather. And my dad and mom didn't want that. They wanted me to be called Christopher. But my grandfather insisted that it be called Salvatore. So we compromised by naming me Christopher Salvatore. And I'm also a junior. So my dad's name was Christopher and my grandfather's name was Salvatore. And I'm Christopher Salvatore. Uh, okay. So... Uh, Did I say... That was Denlin's question. I said Denlin, right? Okay. By the way, your dog is really adorable. Okay. Martin. 
I was about to watch your video and then you took it down and then I don't know what happened. So I kind of have to make this video right now. So I'll answer your question next week, but I'll answer the one from the one before. Yes. Okay. Um, what's my view on one night stands? Really? Really? I don't know. This probably wasn't aimed for me. I don't know if you forgot, but I'm 17. I haven't had too much experience. I haven't even let alone kiss a guy or had a boyfriend. So my experience with one night stands is zero. Would I do it? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, though. Because I like... I want a relationship where it's not just about sex. I want an actual relationship. My challenge. I've been wanting to do this for some time now, but for some reason I didn't do it. My challenge is to impersonate the person before you in the week. So, I'm going to do it next week. But, Martin, I would impersonate you next week. Henrik, you impersonate me. Rob, you impersonate Henrik. And so on and so forth. Okay, and accents if you want. I think it, it would be more fun, but if it's too much of a challenge, then you really don't have to. Of course, it's kind of a bad impersonation if you don't do the accents. So, I would say try. Me doing a Scottish accent is going to be pretty fun. And, Henrik, good luck with the American accent. You actually do sound kind of American, though. Like, kind of. Like, you sound, you speak really good English. So, it might not be that hard for you. So, okay. I think I'm going to go now, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.